Hey. Hi. How's Emma? Perfect. Perfect. Have you seen her? With my own two eyes. Well, where is she? Maxie took her back to her place. Judy Chen is with her. Okay, don't worry. She's well taken care of. Uh, you just concentrate on healing. And I'm happy to report we all know you will. How's the house? Robin, that's something else you don't have to worry about. I am worried about it. I'm worried about it. I grew up there. I mean... I need you to be straight with me, please. That's a total loss. I haven't gone through everything yet. I don't know what I'll find, but I'm all not All of our hopeful. things and our pictures and our heirlooms. I don't listen, listen to me. It's like, Robin, it's all gone. Sweetheart. It's a loss to learn for a long time. It's just a house. Listen to me. Our family is safe and alive. That's all that matters. Excuse me for a second. Hey, hey. How are you holding up? <clears throat> I'm fine. Just trying to be like Mac and think positive about things. Like, be happy that Robin and Emma survived the fire. And I am really happy about that. Yeah. Just, I can't believe our house yeah. is gone. Dr. Ellie. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I, you know, it's okay. It's just a building, right? <laughs> yeah, it's your home. So it's not self-absorbed to feel sad about it or angry. Not that I feel either one of those. I actually don't know what I feel. I just am kind of numb. It's not self-absorbed. It's human. You're allowed to be that. Just keep thinking of all the years we spent under that roof. Mac and my mom, Robin and me, Georgie. So many good and bad things happened and now it's just gone. A woman stripped bare. I have no secrets. Everyone in town knows that I slept with Patrick and I went so far off the rails that I tried to kill myself. Right? It is excruciatingly embarrassing. And I am trying my best to pick up what pieces of dignity I have left and move forward with my life. And it is not easy. And I just... I thought that you, of all people, would understand that. I mean, you Elizabeth, you got her pregnant. Well, you were the talk of hospital gossip for months. Thank you for reminding me of that. Um, my point is that you lost your head over someone and you spun out. Right, but does making that one, yes, admittedly huge mistake mean that you're then insane? And that you go around setting fires and endangering babies? For what, exactly? To get attention from someone who regrets the day that they slept with you? I, trust me, I am, I am over Patrick. All I wanted and all, and all I still want is to leave my mistakes in the past and to just reclaim my life. You know, I'm actually not surprised that Detective Domestico did not follow proper procedure. He hasn't been exactly subtle about his animosity towards Sonny. I actually feel a little sorry for Ronnie. I mean, it can't be easy being assigned to Sonny. We own boats that you thought you'd never travel. Indeed. Well, if it makes you feel any better, you and Detective Domestico are not the first. Diane, you're supposed to be on my side. I know. I am unbelievably fortunate that Sonny's charm has always escaped me. I'm his defense attorney, so I have absolutely no conflict. I'm paid to defend Sonny, to protect him, and that's what I do. Quite well. She grudgingly admitted. I appreciate that. And Claire, you were a most worthy opponent. You know what? I hate to interrupt this uh, you know, lawyerly bonding. What happens next? Is he free to go? I'll have to check the paperwork, but we'll see. What'd I tell you, Diane? Claire is not a threat. Forget you for one moment. Do you have any idea what just happened? The magnitude of the sacrifice that that woman has just made. Claire Walsh has basically tanked her career for you. Now, are you gonna step up and make your relationship worth that loss? Yeah, you. Yeah. Okay. Thanks again for being. 
she's a good person. She doesn't deserve the mess she's been dragged into. Come on. Don't go any further. It's important that you wait for my signal to fire. All we gotta do now is wait.